Hi everybody, here we are again, and I'm going to make some more cheese today. A few weeks back I made ricotta. Nice, but a bit bland and creamy for me, so I decided to spice it up a bit, literally. So I'm making chicotta today. That's uh, 10 days ago. I've got, I'm only doing one litre, because it's an experiment. But one litre of full fat milk. Chopped three chilies up finely, put it in the milk, put a quarter of a teaspoon of salt in there, just as a slight preservative, because we're going past the sell by date, because I thought we'd go for 10 days. Now it smells perfectly fine. It's only just been, it's been shaken every now and again just for the chilies. So I'm going to heat that up to 95 degrees. And then we just halved it again, so we've got a quarter of a teaspoon of citric acid in solution with, it works out to be a quarter of a cup, six tablespoons of water. Right, so, I'll just bring you so you can look into the pot. That's the milk in, along with another one and a quarter tablespoon, uh, teaspoons of salt. That brings it up to the half a teaspoon of salt. Just turn the hob on. If we turn the right one on. There we go. So now it's just a case of stirring until it comes up to a temperature of 95. Exactly the same as before, you can see the chilies in there. I did think about blending the, the, chi, uh, the chili and milk mixture, but that may be one for the future. Right, as you're coming up to temperature, We'll put 75. You need to turn, be careful with the heat because it will suddenly start to boil even though we're only at less than 80. You need to, you can't have it on full heat because even though it's not at 80, it will suddenly start to boil the bits that are. Slightly hotter at the bottom, will cause a boil and get an inaccurate heat for the whole of the. So it's just as you get to around about the 75 80 mark, turn it off full heat, stops the heat from been localised and boiling bits that where some bits are, are lower. Right, that's approximately at temperature so we'll turn the gas off, add the citric acid, stir it in. As you can see it's already starting to curdle. So it's time to leave it now for half an hour. Right, that's been half an hour. So it's time to collect the curds. They look reasonably well set. Got a collecting basket in a water collection, uh, sorry, way collection. Then you just gently, as you see the chilies in there, layer the curds. I'm going to move the thermometer out of the way. And 
that's it. That means what we're going to call chicotta. Not sure how spicy it's going to be. So we've got to lay the rest of the curds into the basket. Should get about at least half a basket full. Right, here we are. The chicotta has been in the fridge in the basket for two days now. You can see there's bits of chilies on the surface and chili seeds. So we're going to turn it out, see how much we've got. Let's see all the scales. Uh, so there's a little bit of whey in the bottom. So we have 249 grams. So one litre of milk gives you about 250 grams of cheese. So we'll give it a taste. Just slicing a piece off. You can see it's a very light, soft cheese. Very creamy flavour. And it develops, and it's still developing. Quite a nice hot chilli burn there. Not overly hot. In fact, it's gone already. Possibly could do with some more chilli in it. But the cheese will negate the chilli anyway. Yeah, nicer than playing with ricotta. It has that chilli flavour to it and a, and a bit of a chilli burn. So, very nice. I'll be doing that one again. Right, like, comment and subscribe. And see you next time. Cheers. Bye.